Hello, everybody. Dan here with The Wealth Instinct. I wanted to share with you my latest article, How We Get in the Way of Our Own Success. But first, if you could do me a favor, if you could um, subscribe to my page and click the bell icon. Um, I, I share articles about business and uh, personal development. So this is a question. This is really the question that that got that this one I decided to become a coach and I already was a coach. Um, but at the time, I was focused much more on on helping people with information. Um, you know, they would come to me saying they wanted some result, but you know, and I, and I would I would share with them what they need to do, and usually they already knew that, right? And they just needed someone to tell them that, and they would get really excited but not follow through. And so this is a common problem, right? Like you get really excited about starting a business or making money or losing weight or finding this relationship and you get excited, you start taking action, but then you struggle with staying motivated. You know, and I hear, hear this all the time. Oh, I'm just not motivated. I'm just not motivated. And it, and it, and it kind of like bugged me a little bit. And so I was like, why are people not motivated? Like, why do people struggle with this? <clears throat> and so after doing a lot of coaching and digging and, and looking into this, what I've noticed that with my clients and with myself is that often we, we fail to follow through. We know what we want, we know what we need to do, and suddenly there's this path to getting what we want, but we pause. And there's a lot of different reasons behind this. I think, um, you know, and today I just wanna to talk about one of them. We often have these unmet needs that are behind our goals, right? So you come in and you say, I wanna lose 30 pounds. Why do you want to lose 30 pounds? I don't know. I just want to feel better about myself. Or oh, I've got a wedding coming up. Or, you know, some other kind of reason that, that's good enough that people will buy it. But it's not really connected to the deep, deep pain you're feeling and the need you have. And and that's what I think one of the main reasons that, that people don't stay motivated and they fail to follow through is that they're not really connecting in a conscious way their goal they have with the deep pain. So what can happen is you you know you have this goal and your goal might be to make a lot of money, it might be to lose weight, it might be to be become famous. And on a subconscious level or unconscious level, you want this so that you will feel like you're good enough and that you're worthy of love. Right? Those are the most basic needs we all have. We want to feel like we're enough. And if you don't feel like you're enough, then life sucks. It doesn't matter like what happens. Like, you, you know, there's people with, you know, uh, there's people who have a relationship. They've got all the money in the world. They're successful and they still don't feel like they're enough, right? Like it's not about getting the stuff. It's not about having the stuff. You have to find a way to, to meet that need um, by allowing yourself to feel that way. So this is what can happen is that you you have this unmet need. And unconsciously, you think, oh, if I lose 30 pounds, I'll feel worthy and I'll feel loved. And then what happens is you allow yourself to experience being enough and feeling loved before you've lost 30 pounds, right? Like you're hanging out with friends, you meet someone, someone does something kind for you, and suddenly you like realize, wow, I feel so loved, I feel like I'm enough, and I haven't lost 30 pounds. So maybe losing 30 pounds isn't the answer. And this might be happening unconsciously but you lose motivation because you've lost that connection, right? It's not a strong connection. And the truth of course is that, you know, you've, well, you've really got to dig into it, right? Like this doesn't, this isn't obvious. You've got to dig, 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 dig and find that pain. And it takes a lot of work. And this is what your coach can help you with. And you can do it on your own too, just through journaling, through asking yourself questions. But the, the truth is that you don't need to lose 30 pounds to be enough or to feel loved. You don't need to make a million dollars to feel to be enough and to and to feel loved right you once you figure out how to meet your own deepest personal needs regardless of your circumstances then you can feel confident and comfortable in the person you are and you can start to pursue the goals that are really important to you right so what happens is people often pursue the goals that they think they're supposed to have well, I'm supposed to try to get a six pack. I'm supposed to be trying to be successful. I don't really understand why I want it, but I think I'm supposed to do this and I feel insecure. So let me try to get this. 
And the secret is that you you have to learn how to feel secure uh, without any outside influence. So just you know, just by virtue of who you are, by the fact that you exist, you are enough. Like that's you know hard for some people to accept, but once you accept that and you realize that you have intrinsic value, then then you can meet those needs on an interpersonal level. And so you're not looking for external validation. You're not looking for other people to say, you check the box, you get to feel good now, right? You, you, um, you made this, you started this business, you made this amount of money and now you get the reward, right? Like that's, that's the, the way we look at it sometimes. And the truth is that it's all internal. It's all about allowing yourself to feel like you're enough and allowing yourself to feel loved. And then you can go from you can reach you can pursue your goals and figure out what you want from a place of strength not from a place of insecurity um and and so really the the greatest resource that you have is your ability to be resourceful um you as long as you maintain this belief that anything life throws at you you will be able to handle and you know, the things that life throws at you when you're 20 might be different than the things that you're able to handle when you're 30 or 40 or 50. And and as you go through life, you know, the, in the different phases, you're, you're going to you're going to be experiencing things that are beyond your capability to handle. At the moment. But you have the ability to grow and to be able to handle more and. You're able to do that the most effectively when you're in a positive state of mind, when you're feeling worthy and loved and grateful for all the things you have. When you're in a negative state of mind, it's really hard to deal with any type of stressful situation because you just feel overwhelmed and you shut down. And when you shut down, you can't tap into your resource, into your inner resources. So um, I hope this makes sense. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. Um, this is something that I've, you know, noticed for a long time and is that we often, you know, people don't, you know, don't feel motivated in it. And it's really a, an active practice of connecting your motivation, you know, figuring out what you want and but why you want it. Like the, the why is so critical. You have to, you have to want it. Um, you have to know why you want it and you have to have reasons connected to it. And when you have powerful enough reasons, you can do anything. Like that's the whole point. Like if, if you want to learn a language but you don't really have a good reason to learn it, you're not going to learn it. But if you must learn it, if you're obsessed, if you have to learn this language, if you have to make this goal, you will do it. Um, but it comes down to getting clear about what you want because you have to, you have to focus. And when you focus, that means you're eliminating distractions. And in order to want to focus and to want to eliminate those distractions, you have to be clear about what you want and why you want it and realize that, you're worthy already. You don't need to speak Italian in order to be un, to good enough and be loved, right? You already are that way. And if you want to learn Italian for another more powerful reason to you, then you can, but you have to create that and work on that. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this made sense. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Please um, subscribe to my channel and, um, and click the bell icon. And I'm um, looking forward to sharing more content with you. Have a great day.